When taking a photo, it's best to know exactly what you want to feature in the photo. You might want a very busy photo, or you might want something to stand out. And what I mean by that is, if you're taking a landscape photo, for example, and several landmarks, buildings or bridges or whatever, feature in your shot, it might be preferable to you to make one of them your main point of focus. Now it's fine to have a number of things in shot, but it might be a bit easier if you choose one specific thing in your shot to be your star of the show, so that people will be drawn to it when they look at your photo, and so it stands out from the crowd. When choosing where you want your focal point to appear, try and decide if you want it in the centre or to the side, whatever looks good to you really. What else is in the shot? Just ask yourself what else can you see and what do you want to stand out? The standard tip I like to use quite a lot is if your phone has a grid option that appears on the screen when you're taking a photo. I would advise that you try using it, as it can really help you to plan what you want in the shot, where you want it to be, and it's great to use the straight lines to help with keeping a balance and to find specific right angles. Use it as a visual guide to help with both vertical and horizontal objects. For example, the side of a building or the floor bottom part of a building. Now, if you tap the screen and a particular item in your shot, most cameras on a phone will focus and sharpen that particular area. So for example if you want to take a photo that includes a bridge, but there's other things around it, if you tap onto the bridge on your phone it will sharpen and make that element of your picture a bit crisper, stand out a little more. Try and keep lighting in mind as much as you can. If you take a photo of something, such as a field of flowers, and there's a strong bright sunshine light behind them, it can turn the object in front, such as the flowers, very dark, very moody, almost like a shadow, with little to no detail. So if you're looking for a sharper image, it's best to walk around the item in question and find the best angles in order to avoid the light's glare from the background. Although, it's obviously perfect if you're aiming for a bit of a moody shot. It just depends on what you're personally looking to achieve from your photo. Now those were just a handful of small tips and suggestions and tricks that I like to use when taking a photo with my phone. There's plenty of other things out there depending on how more detailed you want to be or how much more you want to learn. Search on YouTube and have a look to see what else you can find that might help you with your photos.